Hi guys and welcome to the next video of Microsoft Intune series. In the last video, we learned how to add and deploy line of business applications to Windows devices in Microsoft Intune. In this particular video, we are going to learn how to add PowerShell scripts in Microsoft Endpoint Manager and how to run these scripts on Windows devices to automate certain processes. In Microsoft Intune, you can deploy PowerShell scripts so that you can automate certain processes on Windows machine. In this particular demo, we are going to use two scripts. So here we can see two scripts and let's understand what these scripts will do on machine. So this particular script will create a folder with name Intune folder in C drive. And the other script. This script will write this message on the computer screen as a pop up window. So we are going to use these two scripts and we will deploy these scripts through Microsoft Endpoint Manager and we will see the result on Windows device. So let's go to Endpoint Manager and here we will click on devices. Under by platform, we will select Windows because we are going to run script on Windows machine and here we will click PowerShell scripts. Now here we will click add and give it a name, for example, create folder next and here under script location we will browse for the script so the file is uploaded next is run this script using the lockdown credentials i'll click yes you have two options either you can run this script by using the lockdown credentials or you can run this as a system context next is enforce script signature check if you want that this script should be signed by a trusted publisher then you can select yes else leave it no next is run script in 64-bit powershell host if you want that this script should run in 64-bit powershell or in 32-bit powershell you can select that option i'll leave it as it is and then click next now here you need to add a group of users or devices if you want you can assign this particular script to all the users or to all the devices. Those are enrolled with Microsoft in June. So here I have one group. That we created in the previous session and we deployed line of business application on that group. So here we have this group LOB app. And we have one device here 18 J. So I'm going to add the same group here. LOB app. Click select. Click next. And that's it. Click add. So it says PowerShell script successfully assigned. Let's create one more script here. And the other one is pop up. Click next. Let's upload this script. Pop up. And I want to run this script with lockdown credentials. Click yes. Go next. Add the same group here. I'm using this group for testing purpose. So one device is added in this group. Go next. Click add. So we have created two scripts. And let me refresh. So it says assigned yes for both. So let's go to device. This is the Windows machine that we are going to use for the testing purpose. And let's go to. Settings and let's sync this device. So go to accounts, access work or school. And let's click here info. And click sync. So let's wait for a couple of minutes and then we will see the changes here. Let me minimize the window. So we should see one prompt here on the screen and one folder. Should be created in C drive. With name Intune folder. So guys here we can see the pop up. It says learn with office 365 concepts, which was written within the script. And here we can see the Intune folder is also created. So like this, you can run PowerShell scripts to automate certain processes on Windows machines. And if you want to learn how to deploy applications from Microsoft Store on Windows machine, please click on the link that you can see on the screen. In the next video, we will talk about Windows 10 updates in Microsoft in June. We will talk about update rings, feature updates and quality updates. So that is all for now. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time.
Take care.